Hello everyone. In today's video, we will explore how to create and customize a card view in Flutter. In this tutorial, we will dive into the basics of creating a card view and explore various customization options available. A card view is a rectangular panel with slightly rounded corners. It usually contains the content and action about a single object. To learn more about card view UX guidelines, you can visit the official Google Material Design 3 website for more details. Now, without a further delay, let's jump straight into the implementation. Let's begin by creating a simple Flutter project. To avoid making this video longer, I have already created a simple Flutter project which has a scaffold widget. In Flutter, a scaffold widget is a widget that provides a basic material design layout for your application. It is basically a container that contain other widgets. It can contain widgets such as app bar, body, and floating action button. The scaffold also provides different APIs to display the drawers, snack bar, and the bottom seat. As you can see in the body, we right now have a center widget, and within the center widget, there is a text view. What it means is there will be a text view displayed in the center of the screen, now let's remove that from the body and add a card view. Okay, so now we have added a basic card view. In this card view, as you can see, we have a child and within the child, we are displaying the text view now. Now let's run this and see. It's not so fancy yet, uh, it is just a simple text view within the card. The card view doesn't have a margin, so let's add some margin to the card view. And in order to do that, let's add a margin property. And within the margin property, let's provide edge inserts dot all and provide body points. Okay. Now there is a margin given, so it looks a little better, better than it used to be. Now, to make it a little bit more complicated, now let us add another text view into the card. Now, the card view in Flutter can contain maximum of one direct child. What it means is if you want to have multiple child views, then we need to wrap them within another, another widget. So for that, let's use the column widget. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll remove the text view from here, and then I'm going to use a column widget. Now, as you can see, I've added a column widget and for the column uh, axis size, I've given min. So that means it takes some minimum space. Now, if I give max, you see it will stretch to the whole page. So stretch is basically means that if you have, uh, if you have used Android before, there is a fill pa parent. So it basically does something similar to that. So it takes all the space available under um, available for it. Now we have added a column, column widget, and within the column widget, as you see, it support an array of children or array of uh, widgets inside. And within that, we have added two text views. Now the first text view displays the title of my product, and the second text view displays the uh, product description. Now, they're pretty similar, but I've used different text stylings to make it look like a title and subtitle. Now this is great, but what you see, one thing you notice here is there is no padding around the card and also there is no padding between two text views. Now in order to add a padding around the card, let's, uh, one thing we have to do is we have to wrap the column widget within a padding widget. Now let me copy the whole column widget from here and add a padding widget. Now to the padding widget, the first thing we need to provide, we need to provide the padding. Now what is a padding? We need to provide edge insert dot all, all side padding and give like 20 points. And then it has a child property. Again, padding widget is something similar to the card widget. It doesn't take multiple childs. It can take only one direct children. Okay, so now what did we do is we created a padding widget and we put our column within the padding widget 
so that the padding will be linearly applied across all its borders. And in this case, we have given 20, but if you make it, let's say, 30, just to see the difference, you see the padding has been now increased. Okay, let's roll that back to 20, 20 points. Okay, now we still have the problem of not having the gap between the title and the subtitle. Now, in order to do that, we can do the same thing here. We can wrap the text view, uh, text between the padding, or alternatively, we have another option here. So we have an option called sized box. Sized box. And sized box is like another widget, or it's like a spacer. You can provide, uh, you could provide a height. Now let's say I give 20 points here again. And as you can see, oh, there is a comma missing. Let's add that comma. As you can see, there's a space now appearing between the title and the subtitle. Now this looks good, but let's make it better by adding an image view to it. For this example, we will download an image from the server and display it on the card view. Now in order to do that, we can take, uh, we can use the fade in image. There's a widget called fade in image widget. And the fade in image widget is very interesting because what it does is it provide, uh, it, it provide an option for you to use the network image. And network image is nothing but it takes care of all your downloading and all the logic required to fetch the image and display it on the UI. Now this is quite handy because it provides multiple things. One thing is it does, a, uh, does have an option called placeholder. Now placeholder is basically an image that you display before the image is uh, loaded into the feed in image view. Now it also has a fancy animation uh, you might have noticed already. Uh, there is a fancy animation between the uh, the placeholder and the image. Now we have loaded an image in the card view, uh, but this still doesn't look good because we need to have some spacing and uh, spacing around this, and also somehow the design of this doesn't really look great. Now let's add some styling to it. Now to do the styling, what one thing we need to do is first of all let's remove the padding around around this card. Because I don't want the I don't want padding between the image and and the card view. So let's remove that padding and let's use the column directly and let's remove right here as well. Okay. Now you see the padding has been gone now, right? The next thing we want to do is let's make this little rounded. Now the card is already rounded, as you see from the bottom of the card, but on the top it is not displaying the rounded corner anymore. And the reason for that is the image view taking over the the card. Now, in order to fix that, we have uh, we have to provide something called clip behavior. Now, to fix that, we can we can use clip behavior property of the card, and the clip behavior property. It basically takes a clip dot. There are multiple options available, but here in this example, we can use NTLS, or you could also do a hard edge. Okay, now the same thing. Same thing you can do with this as well. Now, as you see, the card is looking a little nicer now, but the padding around the text view that we have added earlier is gone, so we need to fix that. Now, in order to fix that, what we do is we take our text view and the size box and the other text view, all three, we just take it out from here and wrap it within the, within the padding widget. Now, let's do that. Okay, so I do the same thing again, edge inserts, dot all, and I'm going to use same 20, 20 pixels or 20 points. And then I'm going to add the child. Now, as I told you before, the padding object takes one child, one direct child. Now, what do we have to do? We have to do the similar things here. We have to use a column to arrange or to, add, to have multiple children under it. Now, let's add a column. Again, uh, we need to provide the main exercise and main exercises, 
main and then similar thing cross axis alignment now this had children which takes multiple children now let's use that okay so now as you can see it is nicely aligned and we have a space around the text we also have a space between the title and the subtitle so this is all we want now we can play around with other properties of card view for example we can play around with the elevation zero what it means is that you see there is a shadow which is completely gone there is no shadow in the card view anymore now if you want to have you you want to elevate your card a little more then you let's say we have a custom value of 20 points as you see now the card is more elevated okay so uh, this is how we have different options but then there is another thing if you want to control the 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 radius how much round it is we have not provided that yet it is coming by default but we can do that as well and in order to do that let's use something called shape and in the shape we can provide rounded rectangular border and within the rounded rectangular border we can provide the border radius and in the border radius we provide border radius dot all and here within that you need to provide radius dot circular and we need to provide let's say 30 points okay so now as you see we have customized the uh, customize how much customize the radius for the card view as well now if you want to have a um, have a background now you can do that as well have we done that already here no So we need to provide a color property. Now let's use colors dot green. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, look, okay. So this is because we're using constant. Okay. So now, as you see, we have changed the color of the card as well. Now, if we want to have a border around the card, uh, you can do that as well. And you do the same within the shape, rounded, rounded shape. And here, what you need to do is you need to use something called side. And uh, we need to give a comma here. Okay. Now, use the property called side. And within the side property, you can give like border side. And the border side basically takes a color. Let us use color dot colors dot yellow. Okay. Maybe you can use a darker yellow, just so it is more more and more visible. And then it takes another property called width. So now we have provided colors and width. Okay. Again, it started complaining about the constant. Now as you see, there's a rounded border applied across the card. Now these are the different uh, different customization options available within the Flutter card view. So play around with it and see what best you can do.